Do you have a small butt? Hello, besties. I'm back. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be reading your assumptions about me. And I asked you to make them really juicy. Make sure to follow my Instagram because I posted a little thingy -nick jiggy on there to be like, give me assumptions about me, like what you think I'm like or whatever and stuff like that. Make them juicy. And these are juicy. <laughs> That's why I got my little Capri Sun. I'm obsessed with Capri Sun. That's why this is here. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and help me get to 50,000 subscribers because once we do, besties, I'm gonna come out with merch. Yeah, yeah. And you guys have been asking for that for like, since I started my YouTube channel. So if you want merch, subscribe. Now let's just get started. I mean, like, we're here. Why not? Let's do it. Let's answer some juicy questions. Woo woo. We're gonna start off with Bicycle Boy is your boyfriend. If you do not know who Bicycle Boy is, is follow our TikTok because basically this whole thing happened on there where I was filming TikToks with my older sister and this dude on a bike rolls by and gives me like the smolder and then I smile at him and I was like heart literally stopped and I got goosebumps and everything and he did a little cool trick on his bike to like impress me. I've seen him like five times. We've made eye contact, said hi, but I'm still waiting until I see him again to like get his Instagram and maybe like push things a little further, you know? But no, I have not seen him since and I've never talked to him since and we're not really friends. I am not his girlfriend. He is not my boyfriend. I'm so sorry, but maybe one day we will be boyfriend and girlfriend. Maybe. Aw, Thomas is literally my bestie. You're my bestie and you're beyond nice with question marks. Thomas, really? Beyond nice with question marks? I don't know if he's asking me if I'm beyond nice or I don't know, but he is my bestie, so that's great. You have online dated before. No way. I'm looking at this, by the way, so if I look down to read it. What do you look for in a boy, and what grade are you in? I'm in eighth grade. I don't really care how they look like. I mean, if they're cute, that's a pro, but mainly it's just the personality, you know what I'm saying? I love people's personality. They just have to match my vibe, because I'm very energetic, very hyper, very always happy. So if they're not those things, that's okay. I just like the personality and I want them to be funny. You hate math. Yes, I do. I've never liked math. I just remember like when I used to go to school, you would have to write down the problem in like five seconds and then write down what you think it is. And like, I have to look at the screen and be like, what's the problem? What's the question? Write it down and then write down my answer. Which I like skipped almost like half of them because I didn't have enough time. Like I just like look down for a second and then it's the next one. I'm like, ah! So, yes, I hate math. You have a secret Roblox boyfriend. By the way, I've been watching you since 2016. I'm an OG, OG squad in the house. Thank you so much for all your support and love. And I do not have a secret Roblox boyfriend. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Next assumption! You blame people for your fart. <laughs> yes, I do. I haven't really done that as much because I haven't really been farting that much. I'm more of a burping person. But when I do, I do blame it on other people. Mm. Oh my gosh, did you guys hear that? That was not me. I think it was you, but it's okay, I guess. <laughs> uh, you really love a different color other than pink. This is correct. Pink is my favorite color, but periwinkle purple is also one of my favorite colors, and a white is one of my favorite colors, and right now, I really do like sage green. I think sage green is the prettiest green I've ever seen. Like, other greens, I'm not really a fan of that I would ever wear, but sage green, that's bomb. I love it. You never would have liked anime if it wasn't for Evangeline. That is correct. <laughs> no, I would have never liked anime with if it wasn't for Evangeline. Thank you, Evangeline. I love anime now. Toilet Bound, I don't know how to pronounce it in Japanese, but Toilet Bound is literally one of my favorite animes ever. I got a t-shirt of it. That's how much I love it. It's so cute and adorable. The Sailor Moon's also good. My Hero Academia, but I haven't really watched the new seasons yet. It's just like so time consuming. You're a player. No, you see, I wouldn't know if I'm a player because I never dated anyone before. But the thing is, I feel like I wouldn't be a player because I love hard. So if you date me, you're stuck with me, okay? I don't think I would ever talk to other people if I was talking to someone and stuff. But right now, I'm going to answer no, I'm not a player. <laughs> you be simping for Hanako, I see. Yeah, this is Hanako. He's from Toilet Pound. Let me show you. He's on my shirt. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is Hanukkah, if you're wondering. Look at his little smile. He's very cute. I simp for Hanukkah. I'm a simp. 
You are tall. No, I am not. Uh, let me just turn the camera up this way. I don't even reach the height of my letter N. So I think I'm pretty short and not really tall. So no, I'm short and it's okay. Our next assumption is... <laughs> Are you conceited? I asked other people's opinions if I was because to me, I'm gonna be like, no, 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 I'm not. But I asked my dad and he said no. And I asked like other people and they said no. So no, I'm not conceited. Do you have a small butt? Now you see, yes, I do. It's a little, whoa. There's nothing there, sweetie. Nothing there. So I have a small butt. Flat as a board. Whoop. Okay, there are two more questions left that I'm going to ask some of my friends because some of these things, I don't know how to reply to them because to me, I'm gonna be like, no, mm, no. But we're going to see which the two questions are. You have a completely different personality off camera and I kind of feel like you're one of the pick me girls. So I'm going to ask my best friend, Farah, if I'm a pick me girl or if my personality is different than on camera versus off. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Okay, I have a question because I'm doing assumptions about me for my YouTube channel. Am I a pick me girl? No. Okay, well, that was easy. And then the other one is, wait, I forgot it. Do I have a completely different personality on versus off camera? No. So both are no's. <laughs> Thank you, bye. And my next friend is actually a part of me and Fira's friend group. We have a little friend group, which is so cute. <laughs> can't wait for summer guys because we're gonna have a hot girl summer all three of us but she's one of the, my new friends that I made and I'm going to ask her and she better be honest hey okay I have two questions for my YouTube video it's assumptions about me and I would answer them differently so I need your opinion you gotta be honest okay I will I promise 100% honest <laughs> okay first question is is my personality different than on camera than off camera no I think it's basically the same I feel your attitude and everything like so nice kind same way you on and off camera and you're like yay and then my next question is am i a pick me girl describe pick me it's like if i called myself like ugly or if i was just like oh my gosh i'm so short like in front of guys i think is that it no you're not that at all no yay okay yay that's great thank you so much of course bye I love you. Okay, that's good that I am not any of those. I don't even know if pick me girl is a good thing or a bad thing, but I hope it's a bad thing because I'm not it. But yeah, that's the end of my video and I hope you enjoyed. I definitely want to know what videos you guys want me to make more of. Comment down below in that comment section. Yeah, yeah. Follow my Instagram because I've been trying to post a lot more on my Instagram. I'm like having this whole pattern of like reels and then Instagram photos. But if I run out of Instagram photos, I post more reels. But yeah, I had so much fun and I love you guys so much. And thanks girlies for supporting me. And I love you besties. Bye.